The final step in the branding process is to customize the header logos. Header logos will be displayed in the nav bar of the application and are one of the most prominent placements of the FI logo. To get started, we'll need to duplicate the MyBank logo we've been working with all along. To do this, I'm going to select the store icon logo because it's nice and big, and I'll have to duplicate this by using Command J. And you can see I have my new copy in the layers list. I'll grab that and I'll drag it to the top of the layers list and drop it into the header logos folder. Remember that you have to move it to the top of the folder list so that it appears in the foreground. Now I can grab the logo in the work window and dra drag it down next to our header logos. At this point it's important to zoom in so that we can get a better look at the area we'll be working with. You can hold down option and scroll or you can zoom in using command and plus. Now that I've got a nice tight view around the header logos, I can begin to scale down this new MyBank logo, place it in the correct folders, delete the old MyBank logo, and then we'll scale the boundaries of the region so that we get a nice tight crop around the MyBank logo. First, I'm going to customize the header logo at 2x. And I'll, to do this, I'll move the new MyBank logo into the header logo at 2x folder. I'll expand that in the layers list, grab my new MyBank logo layer, and move it down up to the top of the group. Now we'll scale the logo down to roughly the correct size by grabbing a quarter, holding shift, holding option, and scaling down. When I get it to approximately the right size, it doesn't have to be perfect, but approximately the right size, I'll hit return. And now I want to zoom in a little more, so I'll hold option and scroll in. And you can see that this MyBank logo is approximately the right size, but it still bleeds over the edges of the bounding pink box a little bit. So we can still go a little smaller here. There we go, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to delete the old MyBank logo by selecting it in the layers list and hitting delete. Now at this point, the logo looks to be about the right size, but I still need to center it within the box. And to do this, remember that we can simply select both layers by holding shift and clicking both layers in the layers list, and then by aligning vertically and horizontally. So now our MyBank logo is scaled to the correct size and positioned in the center of the bounding box, but we want to get rid of this extra space on the outside of the logo. And to do this, we simply will select the pink bounding box, we'll grab the middle portion of the bounding box, hold Alt or Option, and scale it in. You can hit Return when you're finished. Now when the MyBank logo appears in the nav bar, we won't have all of the extra padding around the outside of the image. And that's it, we've customized the header logo at 2x. We'll re repeat this process for the header logo H, which you can find in the layers list right above the header logo at 2x group. And we'll simply repeat the process. We'll duplicate our logo using the command J function, move it to the top of the header logo H group, grab the logo in the work window, drag it over into place, scroll over to get the correct view. And we'll need to scale it down again, center it, and then take out the extra padding. First I'm going to delete the old MyBank logo so I can get a better look at what I'm working with. And now I'll grab the MyBank logo, grab a corner, hold Shift and Alt or Option, and drag it down. I'll hit Return, and you can nudge it up using the keyboard keys. Maybe zoom in a little more, and I can see that the logo is about the right size. Now I'll select both layers by holding shift and clicking both layers in the layers list and I'll align vertically and horizontally. Now I want to work with just the bounds layer so I'll select just the bounds layer in the layers list, grab the outside edge, hold option and drag in. I can hit return. Now I'll close up my groups and zoom out using command minus. 
and you can see that we've totally finished the MyBank phone branding template. We've customized the background screens, icons, nine patch screens, and the header logos. At this point, I'm going to save this document by going to File, Save, and we'll begin the export process. Now, to export, we use a special tool called Slicey. And I'll launch Slicey. And you'll notice that I'll have a Slicey icon in my menu bar, as well as the Slicey window. And I saved my phone branding template to my desktop here. So I can simply grab the file and drop it on the Slicey window. Now Slicey reads all of our group names and exports every asset at the right dimension and with the right file name. And you'll notice here that we have 16 items ready, even though we only customized, customized 10 different screens. And I'll go ahead and save these to my desktop and my MyBank phone branding assets folder. Slicey will ask you if you want to repeat this export when the PSD changes. This is nice if you're making a lot of changes with frequency, but we're not. We're finished after just this one export, so we can tell Slicey not to repeat this. And we can navigate to our new MyBank phone branding assets folder, and you'll see that we have all 16 assets exported in the right, in the right sizes with the right file names. And that's it. We've completed a phone branding template process for a new FI brand.